All right, so this is a follow-up video to the, uh, the, to the um, um, video I did about loading a Patterson tank, or Patterson reel, rather. Um, that video, everything went smoothly. The film went onto the reel with no problem. But that's not always the case, especially when you're first starting out. So what happens when uh, the nightmare comes true? What do you do when you are faced with worst-case scenario? And worst-case scenario is the, uh, well, pretty bad-case scenario anyway is when the film hangs up on the reel. You're advancing, let's say you're, uh, let's say you've got your, your film here in the bag, you've got your thumbs on the, on the little um, gate thingamajiggies here, uh, and you're advancing and all of a sudden it binds up and it won't go any further. Um, maybe it's cross-threaded, maybe it's off the, um, uh, it, it came off the, um, the tracking. Uh, whatever happened, something's going on. You can tell it's not, it's not advancing, it's making noises you don't like, and it's requiring pressure to turn. And at that moment, you stop turning. Do not apply pressure. Do not apply force. Um, you will regret that. Don't, don't do that. All right, so you are now in the nightmare scenario. What do you do? Um, you want to salvage your roll. So you got to take the film off the reel, all of it. You must completely remove the film from the reel. No choice. Um, this is where the, uh, the, the characteristic of the film, that w whether or not it's coiling up like this or whether it's loose, uh, is going to make a big difference because I need to take this off the reel and I can't touch it. I, only, I can only handle it by the edges. So I've got to very carefully pull it like so. And what happens when I pull it is... With this film, because it's been sitting in that canister for so long, uh, it is naturally coiling back up very conveniently. Well, if you've just, if you're developing film with, which you've just um, taken out of the camera and which has been sitting in the camera for a little while, then it's been sitting on the take up spool, in which case it, it coils the other way. Um, and, it, it, and this natural um, curvature uh, of the film, or this natural tendency to coil up like this, um, is lost. And so what you've got is a bunch of loose film all over your changing bag, and that really sucks. So because of this, I usually um, will rewind the film into the cartridge, take it out of the camera, um, and leave it for a couple of days before I develop it, just for this reason. Um, that's, that's, <clears throat> excuse me, again, that's what I do. I haven't heard anybody else give that advice, so you know, maybe, I'm, I'm, you know, maybe I'm way off base, but I don't think so. Um, I, I, I mean, it's... I don't, oh, look, all I can do is give you my, you know, benefit of my experience. Um, but frankly, if you're learning how to do this, this, this is the hard part. This is the tricky part. Watch more than one dude do it. Watch more than one video. Go watch some other videos. I've got a playlist on the channel uh, where I've collected a bunch of videos about um, developing film uh, by other YouTubers. Uh, uh, you know, YouTube, I mean, videos which, which I think are accurate, reasonably, reasonably accurate. Um, watch some of those because you, you need to get this step right. So here's what happens. You've got to take it off the, um, the reel slowly, carefully, only touching it by the edges. Okay? Um, and, this, and if it's hung up, that can be tough because so, you've got to get it past, for example, you've got to get past the gate here. Okay, it can get hung up here. Um, on the ball bearing, it can get hung up here. Slowly, gently. Slowly, gently. You take it off of the reel. Slowly, gently, okay, um, and there, there we go. All right, now it's off. All right, so what do you do? Well, um, you've got it off, now you've got to try to figure out what the heck went wrong. Um, well, a couple things can go wrong. If the reel is wet, uh, that can cause the, the, uh, the film to bind up. You want to make sure your reel is nice and dry before you put it in the bag. Um, uh, this can be a problem if you live in some place, say, like Miami, where it's just naturally humid. Uh, I spent a summer in Tampa, Florida, it's, you know, 95% humidity every day. You can see the air you breathe. Um, so in that environment, you know, you're, you're, you know, I mean, your reel is just, it's never going to be completely dry. And um, uh, if there's some moisture on the reel, that, that can cause it to bind up. Uh, also, there could be, it, it's possible that um, when you cut the, uh, the leader, that uh, there's a, a, you cut through a sprocket hole. So if that's, you know, th that's the problem. Oftentimes, if that, if that is the problem, you, you can feel the sprocket hole and you can feel it folded over. Like you, you, this, this part here will be, um, you know, will be folded over into a corner and you can be like, oh, there it is. There's the problem. That's what's screwed up. Um, and that's actually a relief because at least now you know what the problem is and you can solve it for other, you know, fairly easily by going through and recutting the film.
All right, here we go, recutting the film. Now this time, I didn't cut it through a sprocket hole, got lucky, very good. Um, so we then need to put it back on the reel, and we're just gonna load it just like we would normally. And you just reload it as if you're loading it from the beginning. Um, the problem is, again, uh, is, is uh, if the film has not been in the cartridge for a long time, if it's been sitting in the camera in the take-up spool, it's going to be hard to get it into this neat little package right here that I've got in my hand. Um, it is going to be sprawled out all over the bag, and you're going to, it's going to be a devil of a time just trying to get it, you know, just trying to grab it only by the edges and get it wound into something like this. Um, that's really going to be a chore. So, I'm going to take the, um, you know, the leader, Here's my, here's the reel. I'm gonna find the, the, the gate, lay it down, pull it past the sprocket, or excuse me, pull it past the, uh, the ball bearings, and now load normally, okay? And I'm actually doing this faster than I normally would, just for demonstration purposes, because I don't want the, the video to run long. Um, there you go, boom. Uh, when you're first starting out, don't, don't ratchet the, the reel that, that quickly. Uh, slow and gentle. Slow and gentle is the way to learn until you get used to things. Um, all right, so now it's on. Well, when, when the worst case scenario happens, uh, I'm gonna show you, what, um, you know, what, what can happen to your film. You might, when you're pulling it off, you might, you might, um, uh, you know, you might crease it or bind it or, you, or if you're squeezing it too much, um, or if, uh, if it gets caught and you, and you, anytime you apply force, any try, anytime you apply force to the film, you risk creasing the, um, uh, the acetate. Okay. And if that happens, um, it's going to put a crease mark on your negative, which looks like this. Um, this isn't a really big crease mark. Fortunately, I don't have too many problems. So I just went through some recent negatives and, uh, try to find one. So here, if you can see. I don't know, can you see? Let's see if I can get this a little closer to the, to the camera. Let's see if I can do this. Here we go. All right. So there, I think now you can see the little, um, the little crease mark right there. Okay. Um, so what happened apparently when I was um, loading this film, in all likelihood it snagged up and I had to remove it and reload it. And that happened. That rendered this frame unusable, essentially. This is almost impossible to correct for in post. Almost impossible. Um, so that's, worse, that's why I call this worst case scenario, because stuff like this can happen. Um, and if it does, you know, look, man, you know, I'm, I've been, you know, th this happened to me early in what, February of this year. So, or February of last year, we're in 2020 now. Um, so this happened to me, you know, less than a year ago, and I've been loading my own film and developing my own film for a very, very long time. Um, so it just happens, you know, sometimes it's just gonna happen to you and in the beginning when you're, when you're just learning, it's more likely to happen. Um, don't panic, you'll get through it. Um, give it another go. This is, it's worth it. It's a, low, it's a lot of fun when you get it right. Um, and that's all I've got for you today. I hope you learned something, I hope this was useful and I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.